Hi, my name is Erin Reed and I am a test engineer at NASA Glenn Research Center. So today we are going to talk about materials. Now a lot of materials, materials have a lot of different properties and today we're going to talk about one called elasticity and how that affects materials as they bounce up or down. So elasticity is the ability or the measure of how much a material can de be deformed and then return to its original shape. So if something is elastic, it can be pulled or squeezed and it'll return back to its original shape. So this is very elastic. This is also elastic. If you squeeze a tennis ball, it'll return back to its shape. There are some materials you know that if you can't squeeze them, they aren't elastic at all. And then there are other materials that you can squeeze them and then when you remove your hands, they don't bounce back at all. So those materials will all affect how something bounces when it hits a surface. So as a ball, we drop a ball, as it increases in speed, it gains more kinetic energy or energy in motion. And when it hits the surface, that energy has to go somewhere. So where does it go? Sometimes it, it will go into the surface and then the surface's ability to return that energy into the ball and allow it to move depends on how elastic that ball is. So if the ball is able to be deformed and then bounce back to its original shape, that ball will be able to absorb that energy and, and bounce again and bounce high. What happens if these, if these materials then get really cold? Let's say they got as cold as ice. So what, were hap what would happen then? So when something gets as cold as ice, its properties will change and it can affect your elasticity. The, vi the molecules in the material will vibrate less or slower and so they'll be able to absorb energy slower. They'll just react slower. So that means they may be stiffer, they may be less elastic, may want to move less or be deformed less and may not want to return to its shape as quickly. And so when that happens, when the ball hits the ground and it wants to bounce up, it won't be able to absorb as much of the energy that it needs to to return that the energy of the ball hitting the surface back into kinetic energy to push the ball back up off the surface. So that is a little bit about materials and about how that affects bounces and we'll be able to do some experiments to see what that, what that ha how that affects it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chris from the Cuyahoga County Public Library and we're here to do your weekly STEAM challenge. Uh, for this challenge, we are going to need something to measure with, like measuring tape or a yardstick. We're going to need some paper and something to write with in order to take uh, observations, notes, and make predictions. Um, and then, well, I need, do we have a baseball? Um, yeah, I think I have a baseball. Okay. Thank you. Do you, don't you have a big, like, rubber bouncing ball? Uh-huh, let me go get it. So we need at least two different types of balls made of two different materials. Um, but you could do more than two. Do we have any others? That's great. Okay, perfect. So we're going to use four balls here. Um, so we have a bunch of different materials. Five, six, seven, eight, and a tennis ball, nine. So we have nine balls to do this with. They're all made of different materials. We don't really need this many. We could just use two or three or four, as long as they're made of different materials. This challenge uh, is something we could do. All right, who wants to drop first? Okay, so take the ball and I want you to drop it from four feet and then both of you need to look and see how high it bounces. And then we're gonna write it down. About 38. All right, so 
we have results. We made predictions and now we have results. Let's let's talk about them a little bit. So what did we say was gonna bounce the highest? The bouncy ball. Okay. And it looks like it actually won. And that won. And then do you remember what we said would be the next one? The big ginormous bouncy. And we got you guys guessed that? Predicted that really well. Um, it wasn't until we got to the red plastic ball and the fake basket. So these ones were switched. Uh, this, um, or no, actually no, it was the ping pong ball. The ping pong ball and the fake basketball. This one, the ping pong ball bounced higher than this one. And then the last three were out of order a little bit. Do you guys remember what the worst one was? The worst one was the marble. It bounced to three. No, it bounced to four. Three, four, I don't know. We have one more um, experiment we want to do. We're going to take all these balls and we're going to put them in the freezer for a half hour. So they're going to, when we get them out of the freezer, they're going to be cold. So the balls are in the freezer. We are going to take them out one at a time because we don't want to take them all out because some will get warm. We're going to take them out one at a time. We're going to repeat this experiment and see whether they bounce higher or lower than they did last time. Ready? Six. Um, all right, so let's look at these results real quick. Bouncy ball definitely bounced less. Big ball definitely bounced less. Tennis ball way less. Red plastic ball bounced higher. Fake basketball, lower. Ping pong ball was the same. Marble was about the same, a little lower. Baseball was more. And the golf ball was higher. So maybe our prediction was pretty good. What do you think? I think it was pretty good. 